Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. It rained pretty much all night. I've got a little bit of water back in that pond. And I have to get to the post office before it closes. So it closes at 11.30 a.m. Small towns. Gotta love it. See you in a bit. Well, one and two came out to follow me. Beavis is under the shed there. It's kind of sprinkling right now. Number three is around. I saw her. Maybe she's laying an egg. And where is Fifi? Yeah, fa pond. I don't know. I have to get a rain gauge up. and But still, that's not very deep. It's not a very deep pond. Uh, but I, so I got a little puddle down there, and there might be a little trickle coming through. Oh yeah, one of one of her favorite spots when she's not uh, not attacking the killer tall grass. She's good at attacking that killer tall grass. Okay, I gotta get to the post office. Okay, I want this is a creek right by my house. Um, my house is right there. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm almost to my mailboxes. But that has been dry every day since I got here in October until that, that last rainfall. And now it, it went down a little bit, but now it's back up again. So that's where the, and that heads into Blue Mountain Lake which is flooded. I almost went down there today. Okay, yeah, here's my property. And... That's basically where my mailboxes are. That is the Wachita National Forest. I mean, I'm 10 feet away from me right now is the Wachita National Forest. Just cool. Okay, I made it back from town, checked the P.O. box, made sure they were, with my mailbox down, they're just going to forward my stuff to the P.O. box until we get it fixed, so that's cool. Small town uh, post offices are cool. And I got some fan mail from Texas. <laughs> I love, I love getting fan mail. Yeah, this is a great postcard. Thank you. Thank you. I, things always bring a smile to my face and I ordered some stuff um, my sister gave me a little investment money to uh, get seed started and there were some supplies that I really needed uh, to get going with that I have no idea what this is I don't think I ordered this <laughs> that's the beauty of these PO boxes sometimes Oh, oh, yeah, I didn't order this. This is a Crescent brand nail puller extractor. Uh, oh, this is wonderful. And it, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if there's a note. This is one of my favorite tools to help pull nails out of reclaimed lumber. I hope it helps with your projects. From Autumn Girl Acres. That's very thoughtful. Very thoughtful because, well, I had those three pallets in one, and instead of, uh, there were like I, there were 24 nails to get one of those pallets off there, so I just sawed it. Um, but this will make that job a lot easier. And I am going to, yeah, this is just incredible. Very thoughtful, very useful. And I will put this to work. Cool. I thought that was, well, I'll show you that in another one. Okay, now, now I got a big box. I'm trying to get my videos under 10 minutes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's just so much going on at Bobblehead Homestead. Okay, yeah, a 10-pack of seed starting trays and um, no holes, 
exactly what I needed. This is what I ordered. And oh hey, they sent me a free catalog. Greenhouse Mega Store. Danville, Illinois. So that's hysterical. Danville is uh when I was living in Muhammad, the Champaign area, you know, Danville's only like an hour away or something. So yeah, boom. Needed that. I needed that to get started on my seeds. Okay, and this one I am not sure about. And this is oh, this is perfect. Okay, uh, and a great note, but this is seed starting mix. I believe it's got to be cocoa core, right? Yeah, made from renewable cocoa core. Oh, and these things expand like crazy. And uh, the note says to mix them with. Uh, you know vermiculite and well I'll, I'll probably show you that in tomorrow's video so this is from Todd at a view from the woods go check out view from the woods uh, just starting out on YouTube and you know only has a handful of videos in fact I highlighted uh, his channel before and because he was doing seed starting using cocoa core and that's exactly what I you know, this is, makes eight quarts in, uh, well, probably longer than two minutes. But, uh, yeah, this is, a, and I have looked, Walmart, Tractor Supply, uh, this place called Atwoods, um, the uh, co-op store, nobody had Cocoa Core, so I was going to have to order it online, and uh, I might still order a big, uh, a big old bale of this but awesome okay is that it for the that's it it's still raining <laughs> sorry about the dirty window Fifi finds all the best spots when I got home from the post office she was inside that box and then uh, and then Beavis the Siamese ragdoll looking cat Beavis was in that box too, so they're liking the box in the chicken coop. <laughs> oh, too cute. Okay, it's Wednesday afternoon, like 4 o'clock. And I'm going to go see if there's an egg today. It's raining. And yep, I got some more water building up. Not nearly as much as last time, but it started... What time did it start raining last night? Um... I don't remember, but it rained pretty much all night, so I've got some, got a volume of water going through there again. Although it's been so wet the past few days, it's, and I don't have a rain gauge, and blah, 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 blah. Let's go see if I've got an egg. This camera actually helps me see around the corner. And yes, we do. We've got an egg. So that means I found him Friday. I got an egg Saturday. No egg Sunday. I got an egg Monday, Tuesday, and now an egg Wednesday. So, and this one looks smaller than the others with a different shape so I think I've got two lens I, laying well I caught number three in the act well basically and I've heard number one do the song so I think number one and number three are laying not sure about number two yet but what alright it's raining I'll grab the egg and go in